Today I have several dozen beautiful silkworm cocoons. I raised these myself from eggs. And inside each one is a little pupa waiting to transform into a beautiful little moth. But no, 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 we're not going to let that happen. As is done in some Asian countries, I'm going to attempt to cook and eat these. And hopefully they won't taste like complete shit. God help me. The first step is to remove the pupae from their cocoons. You know that a cocoon is ready if you shake it and you can hear and feel a rattling inside. If you cannot hear or feel the rattling, that means that your caterpillar has not yet transformed into a pupa and you're gonna wanna let that cocoon sit for one or two more days. To so open it up, hold it upright so that gravity brings the pupa down and then just chop off a teeny little bit of the tip of the cocoon like so. You don't wanna to cut too deep or you may cut into your pupa and make it leak goo, which is gross. And there we have it. You can see the pupa and then that little black thing to the side of it is the final shed of skin that it made before transforming. Now I'm just gonna remove all the rest of these and the next step will be to clean them. After 30 minutes of tedious cocoon extractions, here are all our beautiful golden pupae wiggling around. Good God, what have I gotten myself into? Now, I don't want my pupae to pop open when I put them in my mouth and chew on them, so I'm going to cut all of them in half with the hope that it will prevent that from happening. Now I'm going to cover the split pupae with a mixture of flour, salt, pepper, and dried basil. This is the exact same batter that I use when I'm cooking chicken tenderloin. On medium high heat, I have a mixture of olive oil and butter. I'm going to add the battered and bisected pupae. Starting to feel a little bit of crunchiness, which is kind of what I'm going for here. I don't want mushy, I don't want goo. I ain't having none of that. I want crunch. Now I'm going to add a little bit of Marsala wine. Because why not? And last but not least, some shiitake mushrooms. Now I'm going to reduce the heat to medium low. Add a little bit of chicken stock. And then let this cook at medium low for about 10 minutes. All right, moment of truth. First, I'm going to try a piece of the mushroom to verify that at least tastes good. 
Ah, that's good. Okay, and now pupa. And if this is your first time having it, you should try just having a small amount and waiting a bit just to make sure you don't have an allergy since for a lot of people, this would be their first time eating this as it is mine. Jesus help me, Hakuna Matata. Oh, wow. That honest to God ain't bad. It tastes like nutty. There's really no bad aspect to it. It's actually kind of like a pleasant crunch on the outside and the inside just tastes nutty. That's good. That's some good eating. I recommend it.